Um, hey everyone, my name is JK Sakamaki, and there's a lot I have to talk about. Um, for one, is the Logan Paul incident, which to me, I, if I'm being honest, it's it, like he, he, he did something that no one should have ever done. And that includes filming someone who, who had committed suicide. And if, I, and if I'm stuttering, it's because I'm in my closet and uh, it's really cold in here because it kind of goes, the, the coldness comes inside because of the hole over there. Y'all can't, y'all can't see because it's facing me and it's over there on that side in the ceiling. But before I do uh, talk about Logan Paul and the Japanese forced suicide incident, I want to explain why I haven't really been active on YouTube as much at the end of 2017. And that is because in the month of October, uh, a few days before October 23rd, my uncle had passed away, and as you can as you can see, like this bandana I'm, I'm wearing right now, it's a camouflage one, and it belonged to my uncle. And since I had never really got to go over there at the at the home that he was at, uh, this will always be with me 24/7 doesn't matter where or basically it doesn't matter where I'm at or what I'm doing even at work I'm wearing this under my work clothes because at least in a form a way he's still with me and as you know recently of last month December 10th December 10th a YouTube legend has passed also. Y'all may know him, of course, because, you know, he was a huge YouTuber. Uh, his name was Angry Grandpa. And my my prayers, they go out to Michael and his family because, for me personally, I honestly don't know what it's like to have a father, but for them, they were close for 10 years. Well, more than 10 years, really. And in the 10 years of doing YouTube, not only have they grown closer as a family, but they have a special bond that no one will be able to separate. And as time goes on, they will always remember him for how he is, how he was. And for us youngins, as he would call us, we will remember him as he was on YouTube. He was no bad person. He was a great person. He loved us just as much as I love you guys watching the video. Man, 2017 was such a bad year. Nothing but deaths. Uh, recently an epidemic in the U.S. because of the the weather changing, that knocking was me doing this, by the way. And now we come to the new year, 2018, where you would expect people to act more mature, more their age. Uh, there was some mistakes that I have made throughout 2017, which I actually tweeted out. Um, you can see that on my Twitter, which is in the description down below for you guys to check out. You don't have to, but, you know, if you want to. There were mistakes last year that I keep, I'm going to have my camera like this because I keep, like, coming close to my face. I don't know why. There have been mistakes that I have done in 2017 that I regret and as of now, I've already made amends to that. And regarding the whole Logan Paul situation, 
You know, like, there are things you do and don't do on YouTube. I mean, of course, it was just supposed to be a normal vlog. They didn't expect to see a, a, a suicide victim in the forest. But yet, they still ventured out off trail when, when, when they weren't supposed to. You know, I don't, personally, I don't really watch Logan Paul at all. I don't like him in a way, but I still think that uh, people have a chance at changing. I think people can act mature in this situation, and instead of attacking him for what he did, I know I know it was wrong. It was disrespectful. My prayers go out to him and his family. I hope that that he is resting in peace now. I'm sorry that he had gone through what he had gone through. And person personally, uh, there there are ways to help if you do have like suicidal thoughts. For me personally, I actually do, but I just don't act upon it. Um. Uh, This is really hard to do. It really is. But like, you know, since they, the, him and his friends, they weren't really like expecting to see a body in the forest. But like, everyone has a has a re, a different reaction to how they see things. Of like. Um, sometimes when someone passes away, at first people will have like, at first people will have like somewhat of a, of a joking texture to them. Yeah, that's, that's a joke. I can't, I can't even use this anymore. Um, yes, I'm in a closet by the way. But once they realize the death, the, the depth of what has happened, they start to feel this intense grief that I completely understand. Because I actually went through it. When my uncle had passed away, at first I didn't feel anything, but came time for the funeral, I was, I was a mess. I was crying. I, I I honestly didn't want him to to be buried. But suicide isn't a joke. It's not a joke. And I I understand why it looked like he was joking. But it was the first time he's ever witnessed that. People, when they first witness stuff like suicide, anything of the sort really, they don't have an understanding of how to react. Like, you can tell in the moment that he was scared, but, I mean, the, the least he could have done to prevent all this flame going onto him, in general, he could have at least like not shown the body like all he did was blur out the face blurring out the face isn't really a thing you should be doing you should be like not putting the the body in the video filming the body is is disrespectful to the person who had done it and disrespectful to the family in general. It's it's 2018 as of now and it shouldn't be starting off like this. 2017 for basically almost everybody started off okay, but going towards the middle and the ending, it was complete bull.
trying to keep strong. I don't mess around when it comes to suicide or anything of the sort. Uh, but if you do, if you do have any sort of problem like it, then please talk to someone. You, if you want, you can talk to me. I'm not really good at talking. Um, I'm not really good at talking to solve it, but I can probably help to where you're happy at best. I mean, there's so much going on in people's lives that people don't really understand at first. But to have a better understanding of someone's life, you would have to actually, like, know them. It's freezing in here. That's why my, if you see that my camera's shaking, it's because it's my, my left hand is, like, moving slightly. But yeah. This, the number for suicidal thoughts and prevention, I will put in the description down below. But, I think, I think the way how people have handled the situation by putting videos out flaming Logan Paul is kind of an over-exaggeration. Over like, we all know as a community on YouTube... All YouTube creators know what he did was downright, downright wrong. We know it's disrespectful, but it's 2018. There are people older than me, even Logan Paul, who has a huge fan base of 12 and younger kids, some possibly older, that shouldn't be viewing any of this. Or any of any of what he had posted uh, recently, which was taken down, which is good. But, but people should handle a situation like this in a mature matter. So. Like, if there is a way to, like, prevent any more of this happening, then us YouTubers as a whole can prevent it. We can go up against this. We will help others. That is how I believe how things can be resolved, is if we help others instead of acting upon Something that was totally negative. And in conclusion, I I think Logan Paul has learned from his mistake. I think he had learned to know what to do now if he's ever in a situation like that again. Like if he sees another body or anything of the sort to put the camera down and call the cops. Again, I have nothing against Logan Paul. I have nothing against him. I'm just stating out that it would have been better in if in this situation he had just put the camera down in the first place. Because showing, a, showing that is, is just not cool. Showing something like that isn't what you should be showing 12 year olds because you don't know what, what kind of an impression it may have on them in the near future. But all in all, I think and I hope that he has, that he has learned from his mistake. I... I personally never had a situation with people who who had like these kind of thoughts. And again, I am always I'm always available to help 
if you do have thoughts like it. And like I said, I will leave the suicide hotline prevention, the suicide prevention hotline number in the description down below. Because to me, suicide is like is never the answer. There are people who care about you, even if you think there's not. There, you have your friends, your family. You have people who surround you. Everyone cares about you, even if you think they don't. They do. Self-harm and suicide is never the answer. I think um, I'm going to end it here. I just had to get this out of my system because to see how this is going on into the new year. I just think people should act more mature than how they originally act upon this type of situation. And with that, um, I'll see y'all later.